lot of people used to come to my house to get their hair cut. Actresses, models, photographers. And I started to toy around with the idea of perhaps opening a salon. So the idea kind of became pretty obvious that if we were going to open somewhere and I was going to keep that type of client, that we had to open somewhere a little different. There were things that were really important to me. I wanted the space to be beautiful. I didn't want people to be able to walk past on the street and look in while we were working because I just find that really invasive. And I wanted very good light quality. And I looked for a long time. It spent me 18 months. And when I walked in here and I looked around and I saw it, I immediately fell in love with the place and it felt right. d'évoluer dans une des plus belles villes du monde et pour moi alors aujourd'hui dans un des salons les plus beaux du monde c'est pas un truc que tu expliques vraiment par tu vois, par une phrase ou un truc comme ça c'est juste pour venir et tu vas sentir le l'énergie qu'il y a ici mmh. Very happy with the progress of the salon. We're quite large now. We're nearly 20 staff members, and I like to work with people who have uh, a certain human quality. I'm looking for a lot. I like people to have a good level of culture. I like them to be interested in art, music, fashion. We speak five, six languages. Because our team is extremely international. All of the staff are trained by me, and they're all directed by me, the colorists and the hairdressers. And the thing that we look for, and what we're searching for, is not just that they be good craftsmen, but they have an understanding of beauty. C'est juste un rapport à la mode, c'est un rapport à la création, c'est un rapport à l'artisanat, et tous ces facteurs-là font que c'est un métier qui est très très intéressant. My desire was not just to make people look good and present my idea of what's beautiful, but also to try to make them happy in a small way. And that's something I find very flattering that people travel the world to come here for our vision. Quand tu viens ici, c'est pas juste un salon. Il y a un truc que David m'avait dit le premier jour. Il m'a dit, tu sais, ta cliente quand elle sort de ton fauteuil, faut qu'elle se trouve la plus belle. Desire is not always so easy for people to express, and that's where I think incredibly talented and successful and good hairdressers have an exceptional ability to understand what someone's not saying. I always defend the argument that hairdressers are artisans. We're craftsmen. We're not like artists working in studios and locked away. We're working on somebody's head. It's extremely intimate, the experience of touching someone's head and touching their hair. And there's a huge amount of trust that's given to us. We spend a lot of time training the staff to make sure that they connect, that they really connect with somebody. That's why our appointments are long. We don't do 20 minute, 30 minute, 40 minutes. Every appointment's an hour, even for a simple color or for a men's cut. It allows you the time to listen, to work properly, and to do beautiful work. <laughs> 